This is Lee Buckner, your online economics instructor. In this video, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about supply graphs, demand graphs, and market graphs. First, let's talk about how to label the axes on the graph. All of these charts are looking at both quantity and price. The rule is, for our y-axis, we're always going to be measuring price. And for our x-axis, we're always going to be measuring quantity. For demand, we're going to make our demand curve, or function, downward slope. It's going to look something like this. Demand is downward slope because if a product uh, increased in price, people are going to want to buy less of it. That's our law of demand. Conversely, supply is going to be upward sloped, meaning that if the price were to go up, the number of units, or quantity, that firms would be looking to make and sell is going to increase. That's our law of supply. Our market chart is looking at both of these two functions or curves together, looking at supply and demand together. The main thing we want to get from supply and demand charts together is where did they intersect? We call this our equilibrium point. That's our equilibrium. At that point of equilibrium, we get two numbers. We get a quantity number and a price number. The quantity number we call our equilibrium quantity. The price number we call our equilibrium price. We'll label that here. Equilibrium price, and below, equilibrium quantity. What we're getting at this point of equilibrium is where, uh, if you have a particular price, our equilibrium price, the quantity that people are looking to buy, or quantity demanded, is exactly equal to the quantity that sellers are looking to make and sell. In this sense, we have a market where there's where there's really no waste. It's what your book calls efficient, meaning there's an exact number of units available for sale, quantity supplied, that people are looking to buy, quantity demanded. 